Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. The purpose of this tape is to uh, demonstrate some of the elusive symptoms which may occur in prosthetic dentistry when uh, cases are constructed in which the uh, occlusal relationship may be opened considerably. And when this occurs in a very healthy uh, individual, that individual may be able to tolerate the condition without knowing what is going on. Mr. Hufford, age 67, had a uh, lower partial denture and an immediate upper denture constructed approximately a year ago. He has been able to uh, tolerate the prosthesis very satisfactorily and uh, probably would not have come back in to our department unless we had called him for a routine re-examination. When he presented for the routine re-examination and we asked him certain key questions it was obvious that uh, he had an occlusal, uh, an open vertical relationship. Uh, I'll now uh, ask Mr. Hufford some of the questions which we uh, asked in his uh, re-examination. Uh, Mr. Hufford, uh, how have you been getting along? with these uh, appliances? Well, so far they seem to be, work pretty good, but like I told you before, when I just keep biting all the time when I have them both in, they're just, just a nervous condition. Kind of clenching your clenching teeth, my teeth to together. Together, yes. together, I see. Uh, have you had any soreness uh, either ab up above or down below? No, everything's satisfactory as, uh, as far as the soreness goes. Mm -hmm. Do you wear these uh, dentures all of the time? No, I take the, I just wear the partials while I'm eating, but the uppers, I have them in most of the time except when I'm sleeping. However, they do seem comfortable when they're in. Oh, yes. Are you able to uh, chew your food? Yes, uh, everything like that is satisfactory. Do you eat most everything? Yes. Steaks? In and fact, I've been trying steaks the last couple of days. Is that right? They were really tough, but it you were able to, okay. to chew them. Mm -hmm. um, I think probably we should uh, look at the tissues and see what the health of the tissues are, <coughs> both up above and down below. Uh, remembering that uh, these have been in, in for a year, approximately a year and a half. If we remove the upper denture, We notice that the tissue is very healthy looking. There's no redness anywhere. The anterior ridge, which in many combination cases becomes highly inflamed under such conditions. Anterior ridge tissue is very firm, white. And considering uh, Mr. Hufford's age, we would say that uh, it's exceptionally healthy. In the lower, we notice that the posterior ridges are very healthy firm, solid tissue, 
just turn that way just a spin. Both ridges exceptionally healthy. If we also check in the lingual area for the framework impingement, we find that the tissue is in beautiful condition. No impingement anywhere. If we now replace the partial denture, now just move your head down and check the stability of the basis, we find that the fit is very, very good. Now the next thing is to check for occlusion. If, will you just close your teeth together now? Now just open just a little and close once more till you barely touch. Now squeeze. We find that centric relation is very good there's no movement at all. Now will you just move to that side? That's, that's all right, slowly. Just move to that side. Just move out. Now move over to this side. We find that in lateral excursions, everything is very, very satisfactory. Now close, open again, and close down to normal. Keep your teeth together. Now just move your jaw forward. We find that stability is very, very good in all eccentric excursions. Now the next thing we like to do is to check and make sure that our vertical relationship is all right. Just close your teeth together. Keep your teeth together now. With a millimeter rule, we find that the occlusal vertical relationship is 75 millimeters. If we now have Mr. Hufford just swallow and relax. If we once again measure at rest, physiological rest position, We notice it's 72 millimeters. If we now confirm our vertical measurements, we'll replace the denture. And Mr. Hufford, would you just say Mississippi? Mississippi. About three times, say Mississippi. it. Mississippi. And once more. Mississippi. And just relax. If we take a measurement, Now, we notice with the denture in that we come to 74 or 75 millimeters, which was the same that we had before. Now we will remove the denture once again and with the speech method of registering vertical relation, we'll have Mr. Hufford repeat Mississippi three times and then relax. Would you do that? Mississippi, Mississippi, Mississippi. Just relax. We notice once again that physiological rest position is at 72 millimeters on the ruler. So we have confirmed the two methods of uh, determining vertical relationship, the swallowing method and the speech method, that this that uh, this case is opened approximately six millimeters. We have also found that because Mr. Hufford is a very stable individual, very healthy, 
that it has not bothered him as it would most patients. What we find, and the point that we would like to make here, is that patients can have very serious things going on in their mouth and not realize it if their health and their mental, mental condition is such that these don't, these uh, discrepancies don't bother them any. So it's imperative that after patients have prosthesis placed, they should be examined periodically to catch uh, m mistakes or uh, discrepancies that might have occurred in a treatment. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.